I hope you guys are having a wonderful time. How do you know if you have to repair or replace the bottom cushion foam? Let's say you have a seat and when you see it, you feel like if you are touching the, the frame, the spring, so you need to, to fix that part. But how? Look at this is a, a big semi uh, bottom cushion and look the foam. It has compressed a lot. When you touch it, you can feel. Definitely, you have to repair that part. But here's one thing. What it is better? Repair or replace? All depend how compressed it is and how much uh, part of the bottom cushion phone are uh, need to repair. When I touch it, it go down almost like one inch and I can feel the frame in there. I just make a little bit of pressure. Now imagine if you sit in there, you will be able to feel the frame, which one is not good. I touch it and compress a lot. You can put a half inch on top, but that half inch of phone on top, it won't be enough. So it has to be more, not even one inch. Okay. Now we know that we have to uh, repair that part. Look the other side. But because right here is a is a lot of part of this bottom cushion that it has been compressed. What it is better? What it is better? It is weird because it has been compressed by section. Look at the back. It has been compressed a lot. So the best way right here, in case if you have a bottom cushion that you need to uh, uh, make some uh, work from, the best right here is to replace or make the whole phone. Replace the whole cushion or make the whole cushion. That's the best way. If it was one section, one small section that have been compressed, then the rest of the phone is in good condition, you can repair. But right here is big. If you replace, if you repair that cushion, let's say you uh, uh, just put a half of that cushion new and you left the other half old, it doesn't make sense. So I am going to replace, but right here, I am putting some strap. I made those straps stay with glue. Then I am putting some screw just to make sure that part is not going to unglue. This has to be strong because I'm going to make a new phone and I want to stay solid apart. So after I put some screw, I am cutting. Then you have to put another material on top. Just making sure when you put a new phone, that part stays strong. This is a, um, uh, umbrella material and I will put a lot of glue and on this one I am not going to put a screw just glue in case if you don't have a like like glue gun you can um, buy the glue and you have to do it by hand buy some brush where you can buy the glue you can buy the glue in any apostolic supply in the United States I am wrapping that piece of metal with that umbrella material then I cut I trim all around and here I have the phone. The right density for the bottom cushion most of the time is 3.5 or 3.0 pound of density. That's the right time, the, the right density for a cushion. Like I said before, I can just replace the half. And if I have it right here, it doesn't make sense to replace just the half of that cushion and let the other part the same. That's amazing. Now that's what I'm going to make the whole bottom cushion new. Add a foam. I, need, I will add it like one inch by one inch layer on top. And you see that shape? The new phone it has to have that shape. So this is a 3.0 uh, pound of density. I will put glue. 
and I will start uh, shaping, getting the right, uh, getting the shape like, like the old one. See, I'm putting glue in there now, I'm putting a lot of glue because this is the first layer. Then the rest of the layer will go on top of this one. I am using a three uh, pound of density foam. And I have to get the same shape, so I made uh, some mark from where to where do I have to cut it. And all those are according to the old one. And I am cutting that phone because it has to have the same shape. And the old phone is not a flat, it's not plain. So that's what I'm cutting on there. Then I will taper like three inches. And I am using a blaze. If you don't have a, like a, this kind of blaze, you can use a utility knife. Yes, you have to be sharp to cut them on there. I have a power tool, but I'm going to do this by hand. That way you can see it, that it's not excuse to, to not do it. So I cut them on there already, and you can see it start getting the shape a little bit. But that's not enough. It has five inch and a half, so I have to build that phone till I reach five inch and a half and I cut them on there and I still cut in a little bit more and I can use two tools right here to sand it and make it smooth that part I can use a cheese uh, grater and I can use a power tool with a power tool it is fast and it is uh, will uh, be nice but I will do it by hand. That way you can see it, that you can do it too. Yes, you have to use a cheese grater. If you see, I cut the metal of that cheese grater and I put them on that piece of wood in there. But I use, uh, uh, before, long time ago, I just used a cheese grater with that wood. See, and it's nice. You can see them on there. So I'm going to add one more layer of uh, one inch thickness foam. And I will make sure to follow that, that shape. So I got him on there. Then I will bring on top the same kind of shape. I am not going to cut him on this one. So that phone that you see him on there is a little di a different color. But the color doesn't have nothing to do. It's a 2.5 a pound of density, a little bit soft. And I do the same thing. I put a uh, glue. And I put a lot of glue. See, I don't put glue in there because I'm going to uh, cut them and take that piece out. And I will put a mark that way you can see. I go. I was going to cut it, yes, uh, because I know uh, I know exactly where do I have to cut it. But if I cut it, you might say, "Oh, where did he cut it?" And I cut him already. And I am marking three inch because I will taper uh, out that part. This it is not hard to do it. Maybe if you if you never done something like this, maybe it will take you time to do it. But uh, to be honest, it's not hard. I can use that tool. I had two tools like that one, the same, the old version and the new version. With that tool, I do this fast and nice. But I don't want to use that tool. That way you can see it, that I am uh, doing it by hand. It will take me, a, it take me time. Take me longer, but that uh, with this tool, I don't look nice. It look nice. So I already sanded. 
but it's still not enough. I will put one more layer, 3.0 pound of density on top. It is going to be hard, but remember, no matter how hard it is the font that I put them on this cushion, it will compress in the future. No matter how hard it will be, it will compress. Some customer say, I don't want a hard font in there. I want something soft. There is a different font for a customer they can use. They can use a memory font. It's a little bit expensive, but they can use that. But it will compress too. And they can use a, a lower uh, density font. But as soon or later, they will replace. They have to replace that font. In case if they want like a soft font, lower density, they will replace it soon. For the backrest, the density should be uh, like two pounds of density because it's a backrest. So now I have to uh, start trimming. And I almost got the right shape. I just have to sand it and cut them all around. First, I have to find out the center of this uh, um, cushion. I have to find the center. I have to draw a line on there. Because it has to get like a certain kind of form on the top. It's not just like, like how you see it, no. I have to cut them on the front too. Then I have to see which line. You see right there it had 12 inches. But if you see on the right side, it's 12 inches. I just made that two like three because I write it like uh, that way you can see it. But for me it is backward. 12 inches that line is not a straight it is not a straight it is a straight on the back but on the front look that look that on the right side of the old uh, cushion see it's not a straight so I have to find out from where to where it is a straight and from where to where it start with a little uh, kind of curve and you can uh, get that thing by um, using a chipboard, using a vinyl material, or using a hanger wire. I am going to use a hanger wire. It is like that. It is easier this way. And believe me, this button cushion is not hard to do it. But, but if you have like a Honda Civic or, or Toyota, the rear button, the rear cushion, that's kind of hard because the shape that they have. But it's not a big deal. You can do it just to uh, uh, spend more time in there to get the right shape. On those kind of jobs, sometimes when I do it on the whole bottom cushion, because sometimes the customer has like a dog in there and they eat the whole, uh, they eat part of the phone and they eat a lot of pieces from the bottom cushion. And for me, it is easy to make it all new. So I use the uh, power tool. I don't do it by hand, I use a power tool. It is faster and easier. So I got the right, uh, I got the design that I uh, on the phone. So now I have to cut it half inch dips, and I using the same tool, half inch to three quarter inch dips. Same thing on the other side. This is just an idea, guys. In case if you have one, this is the way how you can make it. There is a different style how you can make it, but I ain't showing you this way. You just have to buy the right phone. Remember, 2.5 and 3.0 pound of density for baron cushion phone. See, I get that little piece of phone right there. And I do the same thing right here. Right here, uh, sometimes I just put it with glue. And sometimes I put a extra material in there just for the pull. And I am sanding. With this tool, it is so 
nice and fast too. In case if you wanna see the video, how do I make this tool? I have it on the channel. Just search on playlist and there are apostrophe tips or tips and you will see how I made it. This when the uh, power go out or when the you go work outside, you don't have like electricity, you don't have like a, um, let's say air for just a air tool or electrical tool. This tool work excellent, especially when you go to work to the airport. Sometimes uh, I have to go to work to the airport and right there is not like a power. You cannot use the power tool. So this is good. So you see, I almost got the right shape on the top. Almost. It's not done yet, but it's almost. So now I have to work on that all around because I had like a little bit extra. Like I always do, I give extra. Most of the time right here, this kind of cushion had like from 20 to 24 inches wide. So I go into it had 21. The width is 21. I'm going to divide it, then I'm going to give 10 and a half one side and 10 and a half the other side. That will be 21. No more than 21. Because you are get, uh, trying to get the same width. If you made it too wide right there, maybe the door is not going to close. That's one reason. That's why don't give it that much. And then I will cut it. See, I will cut four layers of foam by hand. The sharp, the, the knife, like I say, has to be so sharp in case you have a utility knife. And I am cutting right there too because the old one has to go like exactly like the old one. Same thing right there. And I almost have it. Do you see that front? It's not a square. It's like a little bit of curve right there, but you have to get that curve exactly like the old one. Not just make it uh, without seeing uh, how the old one is. So I got it, one side, I had to do the other side. And then, I had to put like a, a, a phone around the frame, but that would be on the bottom right there, to level. You see the phone is not level uh, through the frame. So I will add them right there, one inch. And then I will trim all around. Because that's the way the original phone is. See, I will add it, that strip of phone right there. And I will put it all around. After I, I put that phone in there, I will trim all around, even to the frame. So I will use a half inch uh, to put them on. on top and it look nice it's look strong it look hard it is hard believe me but this kind of seat the frame have like a special system like a uh, special for a, a big semi truck but right here you can see it had the same shape on the top. I like it. 
maybe you cannot see it exactly how the old phone it is through the camera but you can see right there it, the new phone is a little bit high because remember it had the base it had the, the frame that's what it is high so now we'll add a half inch on top and then I will add a half inch all uh, on the side with this half inch in case if you didn't sound uh, sand it right it will eliminate all those bumps with this half inch but I hear one thing if you're going to make the cover for this uh, uh, cushion if you didn't sound the uh, sound the right you can add it like one layer or quarter thickness of phone and that will uh, eliminate or won't show through the vinyl on top all those bumps that you didn't sand it. so I got uh, you can see it look nice it look nice it's not done yet just almost done And I just will put one more layer on top. I just will cut it a little bit more right there. In case if I want to put the cover with glue, or I want to just put an extra material for the pool. And I just put glue on that phone in there. Now I have to trim all around. You can use a, a scissor to cut that phone, or you can use a utility knife. So I almost got it right there a second. I have to cut a little bit on the back because you can see it on the back that I haven't cut the phone. Look like weird on the back. But right there is done. That's the way it's going to be. It's just going to make the cover. And maybe I made the cover and I uh, make a video and then upload. But this video was about how to uh, repair or replace or make the whole phone new how are you going to know if you going to repair I make it all new it was better for the customer and better for me because it, it, it's not going to make sense if I just repair the half of that bottom cushion and leave the whole half in there no it's better to make it all new and look how it is there you have it if you have a cushion or you're going to work on the cushion that the phone it haven't compressed a lot the whole phone a hundred percent you have to replace it no matter what you have to replace don't even think about it to repair no replace it make it or buy the phone new if it have been compressed, just one small section, let's say a four inches by 24. Okay, you can repair that part if it is only that part. But if it is more than that, it will take like half of the phone. You will have to replace half of the phone. It doesn't make sense to replace half. Charge a little bit more to the customer and replace it or make the whole phone new. It is better for you and for the customer. So thank you for watching this video. You can see him on there. It is done. I really appreciate your time. I hope you enjoy it. If you enjoy it, don't forget to hit the like button. Any comment, leave it in the comment section of this video. If you're still thinking about how uh, to subscribe to my channel, well, I am uploading video related to car interior so often. And not only car, motorcycle, convertible top, vinyl top, sunroof, and boat. So everything related to upholstery. Uh, feel free to subscribe. See you in the next video. Thanks.